On January 8, 2020, five of my very adventurous friends joined me on a snow camping trip to the abandoned Iron Mountain Ski Resort on Highway 88 in California. The weather forecast called for lows in the 20s and wind gusts up to 20 miles per hour for Sunday. Totally doable, I said. It will be fun, I said. Well, Mother Nature had other plans for us. Take a look. parking lot We're going to do another snow camp adventure. You can see we have our Hulk and I'll pan around here. Hopefully that doesn't look too bad. Um, we've got Mike set up here and we have Steve with his setup and Julie is just getting ready to buckle in and over here we have Donna and Misty and they're dragging their stuff over. So we'll be hitting the trail here shortly. It's a minus zero that's really not a minus zero. It's got a very cool little pocket here though. You can put it on and keep it warm. And lots of pillows. And I have my chair because I hate sitting on the ground. Sorry, I'm old. Um, so I have my chair and I brought my little table this time. Um, it doesn't even come with me backpacking, but um, hey, I had a bulk so I could carry all this stuff. And this is the view out of my tent. It's terrible. This is Donna's setup, and probably the most important thing, I'm gonna sound like a wino, is that we have some wine chilling. <laughs> and we have lights. Oh, you are all cozy? All cozy, all set. I'm gonna sound like a saran wrap bag in there. All right, well, I think we all are. It'll be good. Yeah, nice, it'll be nice and toasty. Okay, important. let's hope so. All right, this is Mike's setup. Boy, you have some awesome lights on there. So his tent will be lit up tonight, and he used quite a different setup for his pulk. So a, a regular sled. How did that pull today? Uh, really good. Uh, on the last run, got a really good run. I oh, did you jump on it and slide down? I totally uh, jumped on it. All right. There's a really nice little hill over here. Do you want to try it over there? This is probably a little muddy. <laughs> Oh, you got a cot? Oh, you did go all out. Yeah, cot, got up off there, got mm -hmm. uh, two pads. Uh, most likely use that uh, blanket down under both yeah. of those. Yeah, there you go. And then yes. two bag, bag and bag. What's this? Oh, uh, this is a drum that I made oh. uh, years ago. Me and uh, I think it was about like seven guys went up to the cabin and, and uh, we all had set up some PVC, mm -hmm. took a bunch of hide up there, cut it, and then oh, nice. heated it up, and and then uh, started, you know, stretching it over our, our drums, and then later on I, I did some uh, little painting on it. Awesome. So Beautiful. Yeah, we'll see how it is. It's a little moist, right. so. Yeah, when we get our wine going, we won't care. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have your little chair. All right. A little step up going in. So when I sit in my tent with my yeah. feet out, I have a little. Oh, nice. Chair. Very good. That is very important. I put a little tub right in it so I can put my. Yes. We're going to be so comfortable. Yeah. And of course, I'm sure you have lights on. Yes. yes. And I put my on and off switch right by my. Seat. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Misty had a little issue at the last trip where she got into bed all nice and warm and cozy and settled in and then realized that her tent lights were on. Turn it. Stand up turn it. 
Yeah. Steve, can you talk to us about your Stoken chair there? Yeah, um, thanks Marianne for <laughs> helping me out. Because you could um, help me with this one. Yeah, um, that's kind of too long, crooked. I didn't bring my, uh, my Glock because I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah, you can't shoot it up. Yeah. I, you can kick it. I can kick it, yeah. That's fun too. Yeah, you can break your toe and then we'll have to put you in the sled and take you back to the car. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> yes, please show us the swivel. <laughs> I told him he could use my bear canister as long as he doesn't fart on it. <laughs> Misty's armed and dangerous. I think he's like, you know, to stab your eyeballs out. You said you're going to stab them in the neck? So in other words, any of you out there that are even contemplating attacking Misty in her tent, you will die. What a lovely tarp, shelter, whatever you want to call it. We'll see how it lasts when the wind shifts. That was a dud. <laughs> Look out, you're going to get Steve. <laughs>
mic playing with fire. Three o'clock. Damn. This just happened. There is a tree that is out. You can see the stub sticking up. So I'm on my way back in the gale force winds and blizzard conditions, as you can see here. And the tree fell right behind me. So the big, fortunately, oops, I was past the brunt of the tree or the biggest part of the tree, but there's a branch that's kind of to the front. See if I can point to it. It's kind of right. Okay, it's not gonna work. Anyway, it's just beyond that pole there, and it hit me in the back. And so I tripped over my snowshoes and fell like a ton of crap. And I have a nice big bruise on my knee, I'm sure, but boy, did I dodge a tree there. I was very lucky. Fortunately, the branch wasn't that bad. The worst part was the wind was blowing so hard that it blew all of the branches um, the smaller ones uh, onto the road here and we're gonna have another problem because I was just looking down this road here and there's a tree that is blocking the road and it's not a little one so we'll have to see how we can get out of here anyway that's all for now here's our little problem getting out the road because 